So on my last poll, you guys voted for a soft, smoky eye. So that's what I'm going to do for you today. And I've already done a really light, natural makeup on myself that I've been wearing so far today because I really wanted to focus on just showing you how to create the smoky eye. Um, so the first product I'm going to use is the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Liner. And I'm going to just start by intensifying my lashes by going back and forth from underneath. And this little trick just makes your lashes look really thicker and longer. So I use this trick a lot. It's really good for all eye shapes. Because even if you have hooded eyes or you have smaller eyes, you don't have a lot of space on the top to do a dark liner, this is a really good little trick. You can see it just doesn't actually look like I'm wearing liner from the top. It just makes my lashes look thicker and longer. So there's a lot of different ways to do a smoky eye and I don't ever really like my eyes being personally too, too dark. So I'm gonna to try to do sort of a softer version of a smoky eye. And I'm gonna start by using the Mona Lisa, which is a cream pot by Charlotte Tilbury. And these are super, super easy to use. Um, they just literally glide on their cream texture. You can just throw them onto the lid without too much precision. And the shade kind of already instantly gives you a little bit of a smoky color. So I've gone all over my lids, super easy, two seconds. And now I'm taking a clean brush and I'm not blending on the eyelid because I want to keep the color, the intensity, but I am just kind of blending out the edges. It doesn't need to be perfect at this stage because I'm going to add an eyeshadow palette anyways and kind of build onto my lip. But this just creates a really easy wash, a really easy base that anyone can do. And just go back and forth. Again, really important, I applied with this brush here and then I'm blending with a clean brush. And I do most of my blending with no product on my brush at all. You're just kind of blending out what's left over. Next, I'm gonna take the same eyeshadow, cream eyeshadow, on this tiny little brush, which I love, and just bring it underneath my eye. It's, it's really as preference if you want to bring your shadow underneath your eye. Some people like to make it really smoky underneath the eye. Some people like to keep it quite clean underneath the eye. But I do think if you're going to go really strong on the top, it just adds a little bit of balance to bring at least a little bit. I probably won't do any dark liner, but just bringing that shadow kind of balances the eye. It makes the eye look a lot bigger. You can see the difference there. I'm just bringing the outer corner up in the shape that I would bring kind of my flick as well. To add shadow, I'm going to use the Mesmerizing Maroon palette. And I've just taken the highlighter shade and I'm going to put it just underneath my brow bone. Then I'm going to go into this kind of deeper matte tone into my crease. It's easier for me to look in the mirror. And so I'm gonna do sort of a smoky eye that has a sort of purple tone to it because my eyes are green, kind of green and blue and yellow in my eyes. Um, this will really enhance them. And then I just go underneath the eye and bring a little bit of that eyeshadow color underneath the eyes as well. It almost create like a liner effect. And I always like to bring a little bit of light to my eyes, so I'm going to use the lighter color in the palette and just use my finger. Oh, that's quite bright. Great thing about these palettes is they've got really good color payoff. So again, you can always just use your finger. I like to wash that across my lid because when you use the brighter color like that, it just makes your eyes look bigger. You can see that's made my eyelids bigger and brighter 
So for liner, I'm gonna use the Mesmerizing Maroon liner, which is kind of matched to this eyeshadow look I'm doing. It's a deep purple tone. So obviously with the smoky eye, you can really make it however you want it. You could do it with black to intensify it even more. Do brown. I kind of thought I'd stick with this purple vibe and really try to make my eyes look as green as I can. And that's kind of how I do my eyeliner, always with your eyes open. For mascara, I'm gonna use Legendary Lashes. And this is a great mascara when you've done a more of an evening look because it really gives you that kind of false lash effect. I wouldn't really need to add lashes after using this because it really pumps up your lashes and gives you definition and volume. See the difference? <laughs> So guys, here is my finished smoky eye look. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I hope I made it easy enough that you feel you can recreate it at home.